It's less than 10 miles from each other, but the Tar Heels and Blue Devils are going to have to travel 850 miles to face each other on the court in their first ever meeting in the NCAA tournament. UNC left campus today. They returned to the site where Michael Jordan helped UNC win the 1982 NCAA tournament title. It's a place Hubert Davis told his team to pack for even before this season started. Well, he put a picture of the Superdome on all our lockers, and then he told all the parents back then to book um, hotels and a flight to New Orleans, and he was like dead serious too when he said it. So I'd be lying if I thought like automatically we would, you know, go there. But once like we, our talent and stuff, once we all got together and I saw our team, I knew we had the talent that was good enough to go. Duke did their traveling last night. They arrived in New Orleans where they are practicing at the Pelicans facility while former Blue Devil Brandon Ingram and the Pels are out of town. For Coach K, playing UNC in the NCAA tournament for the first time ever, he says that's kind of cool. The closest we came was in 91, really, where we were both in the Final Four and Kansas and Carolina played the game before we played Vegas. That was the close, you know, then it would have been for, the, for everything. That would have been something. But that didn't happen, and that sets up this year's meeting. Uh, the two teams split their regular season games with each winning on the other's home floor. It'll be an all blue final four, Villanova and Kansas. The other two teams we won't talk about much this week, but they'll be there in a big game that tips off Saturday, 6 o'clock. Then UNC Duke making history at 850. Coach K with 1,200 wins in college baseball. Tommy Eason with 500 wins. He picked up that milestone victory recently. The former Green Central and ECU star was on the Pirate coaching staff 15 years ago. Then the opportunity in Winterville opened up at Pitt Community College, and the rest is history. Having the opportunity to, to come right across town and take over this program that was that was established and you know continue on the path that uh, that, that they. Coach Little and Coach George Whitfield set before me, and so you know I had great examples before I was here, and uh, you know I've just tried to lead you know lead that legacy and um, you know continue on. That legacy continuing with another great season under Easton. They're 17 and four. They're going to host Richard Bland College in a three-game series Saturday and Sunday. And former Pitt Community College and D.H. Connolly star Cam Jackson hitting his first Division One home run. Cam hit it in the Aggies 3-2 upset win over Davidson last night. Cam hitting 287 so far this season in 20 games for A&T. 